Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dog Pound here at Naughty Dog, where they're working on Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PlayStation 3, and this week we're taking an inside look at the game, which is going to be huge at E3 next week. And joining me now is Christoph, who's the co-president of Naughty Dog, and uh, the man behind a lot of this voodoo technology that uh, is making the game look and play so great, right? Yep, yeah, that's my job. Working on PlayStation 3, you want to do something that is kind of a big leap forward from the games people have played before on PlayStation 2. So how is it different for you making a PlayStation 2 game versus PlayStation 3? Uh, the biggest difference is the, the fact that I think the artists have the ability to express themselves more right. than ever. I mean, it's the first time that you can do so much per pixel on the screen, and you, it's crazy how much things you can compute per pixel on the screen. So right. they want to do like a lot, just a lot, a lot of things. And so we that's the biggest difference, trying to push it even more than we thought it would be possible. Do you feel this this is the perfect system for this game? I mean, absolutely. I mean, we, we are leveraging every bit of technology. It's in the PlayStation 3 from the, the Blu-ray uh, drive. I mean, our, right. our game just would not fit on a single DVD. I mean, we'd have to be on multiple DVDs, which right. is just not the way you want to play games anymore. I remember the Apple II, you're switching the disc right. time, and that's, you don't want to do that anymore. We have the cell, so we have a lot of... Uh, cell is like multiple processors, so we have so much power. I and mean, we're only using, I think, uh, 30% right now of the power of the PlayStation 3. So right. I believe by the end of this game we're probably going to use 50%, right. and then it's going to go on and on. Wow, and so, the other. so the, the future games can get even better. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a good year for Black Goo. First Spider-Man got attacked by it, and now it's Mafia hitman Jackie Estacado's turn. In the darkness, based on the Top Cow comic, Jackie turns 21 and discovers that he's possessed by a mysterious force that connects him to the other world. That leads to this interesting and innovative game where you spend most of your time lurking in the shadows to use your darkness powers against your former family. Sure, you have guns to fire in New York City locations like the Lower East Side, but you can also summon creatures like Darklings to draw fire away from you. You can deploy black holes and do my favorite thing, use your dark eel-like tentacles to rip off limbs. What a cute pair. The Darkness has a great story, stunning graphics, and an innovative game mechanic. The multiplayer feels tacked on and the environments could be more interactive, but the game still slithers to a game head score of 8.5 out of 10. Now, uh, when you're playing this game, you know, you're, it's third person. I love there's a lot of kind of cover, very similar to, you know, sort of Gears of War that style vibe, which I really like. And I mean, is that, it's about gunplay, it's about hand combat. I mean, is that really what you're focusing on, sort of, you know, raw, visceral combat? Yeah, we built up uh, three pillars of gameplay. We've got the uh, the Jack and Daxter kind of traversal and platforming elements. Right. Um, and then we've got the, the gunplay, um, which, uh, you know, uses the, the cover system from uh, Gears of War or right. um, uh, Kill Switch. Right. And, uh, and then we've got the hand to hand combat. Because we're we're looking at what these these pulp action adventure stories contained. You, know, you look back at the Indiana Jones and the, right. the mummies, and we really were trying to leverage what defined the genre. And we found that you know these huge stunts as you're running around, um, the gunplay and the, and the brawling were really right. the, the three key pillars. You saw the world exclusive first footage tonight on Gamehead, but the August issue of Official Xbox Magazine has the announcement and first preview of Robert Ludlum's The Born Conspiracy. PlayStation Magazine joins a demonic family with the darkness. PC Gamer has an intergalactic exclusive preview of StarCraft II, and Electronic Gaming Monthly has a first look at both new next gen Soul Calibur games. Next on Gamehead, we go sniffing around Naughty Dog for a new Jack and Daxter game. Gamehead screens a new trailer for Grand Theft Auto 4. And finally, we have a world-exclusive sneak preview at the E3 trailer for Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And now, it's time for your UView Question of the Week. The original Crash Bandicoot game debuted in August of 1995, and Crash soon became the face of PlayStation. Which is your favorite Crash game? Crash 1, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, Crash Bandicoot Warped, or Crash Team Racing? Be sure to place your vote at gamehead.spiketv.com.